welcome to Mako Products and Superlock TV. Today we're going to talk about needle valves, which I have here, versus ball valves. What's the difference and when to use a needle valve versus a ball valve? We're going to take a quick look at it. It won't take long because it's a very simple difference. Here I have a needle valve that has a cutout and we're going to talk about what the difference is of the application you would use a needle valve for and I have a cutout of a ball valve. So we'll look at the interior, figure out what we need to use them for and that way next time you go to the store and need a needle valve or ball valve, you'll know the difference yourself. So here's a close up look at the interior cutout of a needle valve in this hand and a ball valve here. As you can see in a needle valve, one of the differences that will jump out at you real quick is the amount of flow that can go through a needle valve. As you can see, this is a half inch MPT thread that goes into this valve, but the flow is quite restricted once it enters the valve. In contrast, if you look at a ball valve, even though this ball valve here is a reduced port ball valve, the flow inside is quite large. If we look at a full port ball valve, the flow inside the valve will not be restricted at all. It will be the same amount of flow as the pipe that's coming into this valve. If you would like more information about the difference between a full port ball valve and a reduced port ball valve, so reduced port, full port, check out our other videos online and we have a video that talks about the differences between these two valves. So the first difference is the flow that goes through the valve. The second difference, which I consider the main difference, is the amount of adjustment you can do to each of these valves. A needle valve is considered a precise flow valve. It is made for fine adjustments of the media going through your valve. And the media could be gases or liquids. So each turn of a needle valve handle, each quarter turn, each one eighth of a turn, restricts the flow or opens the flow on this needle valve. So each time I turn it, I can give micro adjustments to flow coming through this valve. A ball valve is many times considered a on off valve. One quarter turn is the only adjustment that can be made to this valve. And one quarter turn is in the off position. One quarter turn back is in the open position, which means it's open to flow. Ball valves can do a bit of flow control, but that is not their intended purpose. A ball valve is intended to be an on off valve. I can turn this open somewhat and it can control flow to some extent. So let's talk about how these valves control flow. So here I have an example of a needle valve. And as I turn the handle, the stem has a cone at the tip of it that extends. And as I continue to make these adjustments, the cone will eventually seal at the bottom. So each turn back, the stem retracts and flow opens up. In a ball valve, the flow is open in one position and a simple quarter turn closes the flow. Very coarse on off flow adjustments. So when you're selecting your needle valve or ball valve, those are your considerations. Restricted flow in a needle valve, versus fuller flow in a ball valve, micro adjustments in a needle valve versus coarse on off adjustments in a ball valve. And one last consideration is how quick you can go from media flowing through the valve to a closed position. If you need to adjust the valve very quickly from open to close, of course, select the ball valve, open, close, open, close. With a needle valve in the full open position, it takes multiple turns to be able to close the valve. 
So that is the basic differences between the kneel valve and the ball valve. Thanks for watching the video today. We hope you learned a little bit or we're able to answer your questions about the difference in ball valves and needle valves so you can make the right choice next time. If you have an idea about a topic that you would like to see us cover, please leave it in the comments and we'd love to uh, hear your ideas and possibly shoot a video and answer those questions. Also, you can check us out at superlockworld.com or you can keep clicking and watch our other videos to help you learn more about the instrumentation and control products that we carry. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.